Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade a desktop mini previously known as ProDesk or Elite Desk, same way. This one is an outgoing model, HP Pro Mini 400 G9. So it's G9, means it's a 2022-2023 model. All Pro Mini and uh, Elite Mini, Elite Desks, Pro Desks, even from uh, previous generations, as well as Lenovo Think Center on Dell Optiplex models, similar ones, SFF desktops. They're all kind of very similar and uh, most of them can be upgraded in the same way. Let's just take a quick look at what's inside. We have a desktop itself, we have mouse, we have a charger, two parts, power adapter rather. And we have a keyboard here. I will also show you how to upgrade uh, RAM. Standard white keyboard and mouse. Uh, they're simple and cheap, but they work great. And uh, for what they are, they are really good. And you can even stay with these ones unless you want to really spend big money on something fancy. And here we have the computer. This one has uh, i5 12th gen, 12500T, 8 gig of RAM and 512 SSD. Some of them have 16, some of them have 256, some of them have just a uh, one terabyte hard drive. And we'll also see how we can upgrade the RAM. Quick look, USB-A, 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 HDMI, DisplayPort, DisplayPort, uh, the lock and then uh, Ethernet here. And on the front, we have two more USB-A, headphone input, power button, and uh, USB-C. So it's Pro Mini, like this, very nice, very small, serial number on the bottom. Just one screw to open it, very simple. Then we need uh, to push this over here and kind of separate them. You can do it with two hands, it's not that hard, you can kind of push from the bottom. and then just take it off. Let's see what we have here. This looks like SSD. It's covered. This is the screw. If you want to upgrade the SSD. Battery. I have the fan here. This one you can pull out just like that and we see here 8 gig of RAM if you have another 8 like I do 8 gig here I have another 8 gig there and we'll just put it into another slot make sure you put it correctly because one side is longer than the other very carefully very gently Make sure it's in and then it clicks. Just push a little bit, it clicks. Now we have 16 gig of RAM instead of eight, uh, which is gonna be much better. Well, eight is fine, it's not bad. It, it runs everything, but uh, it's always good to have more. Later on when you have a lot of programs and stuff, you know, 16 gonna be gonna be better. You'll see the difference. In the beginning it can be fine with eight, but overall eight is fine, but 16 it's like, why not, right? Make it better. Over here, we see the uh, CPU, it's under that metal, and a radiator here. And uh, I must say, I'm very disappointed. And uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to upgrade uh, with a hard drive The way this model can be upgraded is uh, With another one like this m2 nvme SSD and the new one And you cannot add any SATA in here unfortunately For that you need to buy one with a SATA so you, you either buy uh, Prodesk mini with a SSD 
and hard drive or with a hard drive. If you buy a model with a one terabyte hard drive, what you can do is you can still add this one and a hard drive for SATA SSD. Yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. I reviewed recently a model with a one terabyte hard drive and it was very easy there. You can just switch it for this one or whatever for SATA SSD. And, and it has a free slot for M2 SSD there. After that, what we do, we just put it, uh, I believe like an inch, an inch away. Like this, the way it fits basically. And then we just slide it back. Boom. And then we have it assembled back. And then we get the screw back in there. Just like that. I did it even without a screwdriver, it's fine. Now we have 16 gigogram instead of 8.